Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this particular video, we are going to learn how can we create a developer edition for our Salesforce. This video is a part of complete tutorial provided by Tutorials Point on Salesforce Certified Associate. So let's see what all steps we need to take in order to create a developer account in Salesforce CRM. So first of all, you need to go to developer.salesforce.com slash sign up and from here you will be getting a form. Once you fill up the form as per the given instructions, you will be getting an email for verification link on your registered email ID. On that particular email, you will be getting a link. When you will click on that link, it will take you to a Salesforce page where you will be generating your password and you will activate your account. Once the account is created, the password is generated, you can go to login.salesforce.com every time you want to log in in your Salesforce organization account. So let's see practically how we are going to create it in real. All right, so I'm using the browser of my choice and here you can see that I am logged in into the developer.salesforce.com slash sign up. In this particular URL, you will be getting a form for signing up in salesforce.com. So it's a very simple form and let's see how we'll fill that. So you can just fill your personal details over here like first name, last name, uh, your email ID. Then you can choose any role. Like here, I will choose admin, let's say. Though it doesn't matter much, you can choose any role of your choice. Company name, Anadi & Co. Country, right now I am here in India. State, Telangana. Postal code, I will enter some postal code here. And then username. The important thing with the username is that whenever you will be logging in in your salesforce.com, you will be using this particular username which has to be in an email ID format. Like here, it doesn't have to be real as it is mentioned. It doesn't have to be real, but it should be, it must be either uh, in a email ID format. So let's say here I will say anadi at tutorials.com. All right. And then just check this agreement. Here in this particular process, you will observe that nowhere around we have entered the password. We'll see how will we do that. Okay. So I have just filled up this simple form and now I'll click on sign me up. So after a few seconds, I can see this screen where it's saying, please check your email to verify your account. So let's go to another tab where I will see my email. So here, after a couple of minutes, I found this email with the title, Welcome to Salesforce, Verify Your Account. So here, you can see uh, a simple email from Salesforce, right? Where they have confirmed that the username is anadi at tutorials.com as I entered. And here, I have a button for verify account. I'll click on this button and now here it is giving me the option of generating a new password. So here I will enter any password which will satisfy all these conditions, right? So as you can see, all the parameters are satisfied with a green tick. And now you can choose any security question over here. and then click on change password. And now you can see that after generating the password successfully, we are in this home setup page, which we will start later. So this is how you can successfully create your salesforce.com account. So when next time you want to log in again to your Salesforce account, you can simply come to login.salesforce.com where you can enter your username and password which you have created while creating your account and you can click on this login button. 
So now you can see that it will take you back to the same setup home page which we have seen earlier. So this is how you can create your Salesforce account and can log in as per your requirement.